Welcome party people, welcome back to another NRW review video. That's right, we're back with another video for all our party people in video land. And I'm your host, David Estacado. I'm here with my buddy from Another Nutty, the one and only. Please introduce yourself, sir. Hello everybody here, I'm Rob the Movie Guy, and thank you very much for joining us here today, because today we've got a review here for you, uh, a film that I have not heard about, but we'll get into a little details about that as well, because I was genuinely surprised by what we saw here. So the film that we're reviewing here today is called color if you have not heard of the film fear not because you're not the other ones but we're here to tell you all about it here so before we get into our thoughts here let's roll the trail here real quick roll it the world's gonna die i can feel it coming and i think about ruth <laughs> How does she survive out there on her own, as broken as she is? Lila, this is your mother. Does she? Yes, but not like yours. Our abilities can't fix things. If something's broken, it stays broken. That is different. She can see the colors. What do they look like? I've never seen them. It's like an echo. Moving over everything fast like a race. It's gotten harder for us to stay in hiding. I know. There's not much time. You cannot be putting her in danger again. I'm not leaving. This woman can affect the energy of the Earth. We can help you. There are tests we can run. A new world is coming! I'm not scared anymore. And we're back. Now, the trailer doesn't reveal much, but it shows a lot of the scenes that kind of bring attention to the movie and the story. And you see a lot of character-driven stuff um, right off the bat. And I really like the trailer for keeping it low-key and not showing anything off about the story um, at all. Um, but I really, really enjoyed the film. And the reason why it was brought to my attention was brought to attention to a couple of uh, post I saw because I'm you know we're constantly doing research on what else to look at yeah and um in, we're into superhero stuff and comic book stuff mm -hmm. and this is one of those films that was really under the radar uh, two years ago uh, regarding f films of any genre this is kind of a sci-fi superhero film um, with a lot of heart and it just didn't get the recognition that it deserved especially with some of the fans of the film. Um, it had a very limited uh, uh, theatrical release, um, and even now has actually got some uh, following that it's actually going to be getting its own Amazon show, uh, an Amazon soon, with the writers and directors uh, coming back for, for writing that. And I figured, hey, let's take a look at it. I want to see what's up with this film. And if, give, if right, give the recognition it deserves, because I, I feel like people need to see this film. So I take it that overall you like the film because uh, I, I it's, it's, did okay well so it's, let's it's get into kind that of a here slow too, burn uh, to yeah. be honest it's a slow burn of a film but the payoff at the end is such an emotional beautiful payoff that it just it leaves up to like wanting to see more of this world that's that's been given and shown off throughout the film. 
Okay, well, so let's get into that here because uh, you had you to, you told me to watch the film here, and I had no idea about the film whatsoever. In fact, I didn't even know this film was even in under the radar here, especially for what which what you considered of this being a superhero film, which I kind of want to get into as well too, because I definitely have my views on that as well. Um, you're right; the movie is 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 good. I'm not saying it's bad by any means. This is, and you said it best, this is a slow burn of a movie here. So right off the bat, I can tell this is not going to be the film for everyone because it's it's not a, a film where you have people who are using their powers for, you know, that are, are garnering attention for, like, like you're typically used to and seeing a lot of these uh, other film superheroes that are coming out, other superhero films that are coming out as of late where the powers are the, are really what are, are you can use to identify the characters here outside of their costume, and here it's more of a of a of a slow burn of a build up, and then from what you are starting to see unravel here. And by the way, we're not we're really not going to get into whole, a lot of uh, spoilers here because yeah, this is going to be very spoiler free because yeah, it's going to ruin the film for you. Well, and ruin the ex- especially for the first viewing. Yeah, I think it's just one of those films you have to take one or two viewings to kind of really really grasp the movie because there's a lot of stuff that like that really hit um regarding the story the characters um um and it, it looks like it's a very grounded film as well that's a, the, the one thing i really like to take like it was more of a grounded superhero film as as but you know we'll get to that and i didn't mean to go ahead man well i mean you're right so i mean the, this is a the, the film is not going to be for everybody because like you said it is a very slow burn of a movie here and it's very much grounded but at the same time it's a it's a character driven film. So the superhero, uh, so the 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 superpowers, if you will, in this film are really more of like a uh, of a back burner. I mean, they're definitely much in play here, but for the purposes of the characters there, because there's, there's a lot of conflict of the power being used and how it's being used and why it's being used and who can use it, who cannot use it, and why when can you use it. It's a, there's a lot of all a lot of that stuff going on here. But w- what what I appreciated most about the film was the fact that. When you and you said it uh, best at the, at the very end, you when you do get that payoff, it's an emotional payoff rather than like a uh, a twist ending because there's really not much twist in this film other than character develop character revelations here, and I think with if if we tell that to you, it's gonna take away from that experience because <laughs> as the story unravels, it definitely does a good job and exposing some things about these characters which aren't terrible things, but they're really more emotional. Uh, uh, importance in the in personal uh, stuff that you really need to see in the film to let it uh, unfold in front of your eyes. Um, but like I said, though, it's uh, well, like what we both I should say, it's a slow burn of a movie, and that's one of the things I remember thinking about when I watched this film. Was like, is this is not going to appeal to everybody? Because the, one of the biggest things that I think a lot of people may not like about the film is that it's a. I, so is this considered a superhero film or not? Which is one of the things I, I did not. Uh, fully agree but i i understand and i uh, touch upon here but but before we get into that overall i said like i said the film is good it's a very well done very well acted film uh, from literally from 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 the opening scene until the very last scene it really did capture my attention because there's, there's a lot of uh there's a lot of um build up to to these characters here and then as 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 the story unfolds it makes sense why everything happened the way that it does because you start noticing those little uh character developments that are where you question the beginning and then as as the story unfolds you understand their 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 reasons behind it even though they're whether you agree with or understand why they did what they did um one one other thing i also want to point out too that is is there in this film because that's one of the things that i realized that i don't think if there is a villain it's kind of vague because there really isn't a a a a, a villain out there that's out to hurt anybody i mean although some things that do happen in the film i I disagree you know i I would say that the main antagonist will be would be the the i guess the government official quote unquote right uh, that's seen in the film um and you don't really know his actual true motives if they're if they're for what purposes. Right. He's he's you know uh, chasing the uh, the main character here, yeah. uh, Ruth. Um, it's a, a little bit of like, give us somewhat of a synopsis like of the character. Uh, Ruth is on the run um, due to the fact that she has these special abilities, and when they activate, they seem to cause earthquakes or tremors. When she uh, she has seizures though when she has when, when they, she when has. They have- 
Yeah. Uh, she has doesn't understand why she's having these seizures or why her powers aren't working as as they should or were. So her last take is she actually has to go and she reaches out to her family, her mother, um, to try to get some help. Right. Um, and in the process, she's getting chased by this government worker person, um, scientist, scientist who yeah. pretty much ends up putting her family in danger. And then the three of them kind of find a way to try to you know get away from them. That's pretty much a short synopsis of the film. Yeah, um, there's a lot more to unpack in that because there's so much story and character driven. Uh, um, side plots and stuff that that yeah. involve in that, but that's pretty much your basic synopsis for the movie. Yeah. So, and I think uh, one other thing that what you you mentioned about you said you didn't agree with um, the villains, if you want to call them that in the film, they're not really much in the film, and they are in the film, but they're not really in the film as much as you would think because most of the story takes place between. Ruth, her mother, and then we come to find out that she has a daughter as well, too. And then you start seeing that relationship on, uh, unfold and f- as far as the story, when, a, when the story progresses here. That's really most of the film there. And I thought that was a really nice uh, take to, uh, to, to pursue with these characters here because rather than having this back and forth uh, scenes where the villain's out there chasing them and then you have the family on the run all the time, they're really just taking their time to, for you to connect with these characters here. Although they're... I think in the film it's it's like in a span of like a week when this whole story uh, uh, takes place, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. But it, it come it for me it it blew right through. I mean, I want to say blew right through. It um, I didn't feel the 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 story take a long time for it to develop there because it, it like once it starts to uh, build up from there, I thought it they did a great job with the pacing. The acting was good. I, I actually one thing I did appreciate appreciate in the film here was that really help sell the the those emotional side uh, emotional impact of the story is the music as well too the music is one of the things that really stuck out with me in the film that really helped push the for uh, the story forward here so uh and then the 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 imagery that you see back here with us and uh and david's background and my background here too those are very prominent colors that are, are featured in the film and in certain sequences here and they when you see the film it makes sense why why those imageries are, are on the poster there because they are also part of the plot as well too and, and it's very, not like a cheesy very beautifully implemented yeah. and special effects and, and as you could tell there's a small budget film i think they yeah. really helped it kind yeah. of push that story because uh, even the director and the writer said that most of the times uh, with movies like this or stories like this, they put so much emphasis in the special effects. They forget about the characters. Yeah. And they said in writing this film, they wanted to make sure, uh, by the way, that's uh, Julia Hart and her husband, Jordan uh, Horowitz, who wrote the film and uh, directed it. And I believe her husband produced it. Yep. Um, as they were writing the film, they wanted to emphasize this. Like we wanted to put the characters in the forefront rather than their powers, and then their powers should be part of the narrative that they were trying to tell. Yeah, and they it did a good job with that, too. Beautifully shot. May I say the cinematography is it was really yeah. well done, yeah, especially in some of the more intimate scenes, uh, especially them showing uh, that family dynamic and, and how that, that it was kind of tension-filled at the beginning yeah. and how it later started kind of opening up. Uh, that one scene in the kitchen where the three of them are kind of like somewhat interacting with each other. Yeah. Um, and sitting down at the table uh, uh, was was really, really well done. Yeah. Um, oh, well, one, one thing I want to get into, too, is that you mentioned about the dinner scene, but the the, the fact that you have all three of those characters there, you, de- you definitely get three different perspectives of – of uh from this of the story here with Ruth being one of the main characters here who is played a very by, destructive uh, person. Played by Gugu uh and Bathra. Right. So she she's a very destructive character in the film and you learn why she is that mm-hmm. way. And then of course you get her mother, Bo, um uh, played by um I think what's her name? Lorraine Truth. I can't remember her. She she was in Orange is the New Black. Forgive me for not remembering her name. Lorraine but Tuc- get, Tuc- 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 like that. Yeah. So she um she's a character who is very much uh in control of herself but there's a lot that she's hiding and then you also have the granddaughter ruth's daughter who is um curious and interested and very uh i would say going as far as saying she's extremely independent but you get these different perspectives here from these three different characters almost in you kind of get like what the destructive side of the power can be, what the controlled side of the power can be, and what the curious side of the power can be as well, too. All told through the three different uh, characters here um, in this narrative here. I thought it was beautifully I, well done. I love that. I, it was beautifully done. Yeah. Three different, three different generations yeah, of, yeah. 
of kind of interacting with each other with the same power set, yeah. Um, but coming from different perspectives, and yep. then even then at the end with the granddaughter uh, Layla or Lila, I believe her name was, yeah. Um, as trying to rebel and seeing more of what's beyond the world of what you know what's out there and other people or other women that like them that have powers, um, and throughout that you kind of see it kind of through her, through Bo's narrative is through this book. Um, handed down through through the generations of the family. Yeah. Um, and even then, there's like some hints and pieces of there, like you know, the, of an expansive world that could be really looked into that was didn't really get a chance to shine uh, in this uh, in this film, which I hope that they kind of touch in in war uh, regarding with the Amazon uh, uh, show. Yeah, so let, let's get into that too because uh, so last year I believe Am Amazon Studios announced that they've are are talking to the, uh, the 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 filmmakers here, Bob, making a television series for on their uh, streaming platform. So again, without getting into spoilers, but the way the film ended here certainly leaves you that that opportunity to tell the story here in a much more expansive world, and um, I think that telling it in, in a an episodic format here would be, would be the best way to go about it especially with Amazon behind the uh this uh the story here i think mm -hmm. there's a lot of things you can do and i'm hoping that they don't lose sight of of, of the character uh, the character developments here that you saw in this film to expand more on this and uh, the series as well too when will that come out i have no idea but i'm hoping that this that's still in the works right now because this was again was announced last year if i'm not mistaken and we're here in spring of 2020 and i don't know what the uh what the update on that status here is at this point but i hope that when they do that they are focusing on expanding what else is out there from because they certainly made hints about there are other people like them but they don't really get delve too much into that and and you come to find out why uh, towards the end, but again, that's something that I thought would be really interesting to get into, and then see other things that may grow from that as well too. You know, will it will they will they uh, be able to expand of what the full potential of these powers are are, are capable of, of being done by these characters here? I'm hoping they can get into that as well too. And um, uh, get into more of this government uh, agency that was following them. Like yeah. let's get to the lab more behind the story about that scientist, what his intentions are, what the government intentions are. Uh, maybe he's actually, maybe he's being honest, maybe he is trying to help, but it's, you know, he's being goaded and pushed by the government to do for more nefarious reasons. There's so much you can do with this. Yeah. So much. Uh, and I can't wait. Um, and I, a uh, quick, you know, going back to the acting was, fantastic and very believable throughout the film everybody does a fantastic job yeah. uh playing their characters um even even the scientist character was believable um and i, I would say like you say he wasn't you in your eyes he wasn't like a real antagonist but i still feel like he was a, a threat and showed himself to be a threat enough to kind of like warrant that you know bad guy yeah. status even until the end yeah, I, I had a little uh, issue with how and again when you see the film if you watch the film you understand what i'm coming from here way that he reveals himself and i thought it was so stupid but as the story progresses you come to think about well maybe this character is like this because as you see these characters um you know interact with other people you kind of get a feel for how they like to approach certain things in certain situations here and that's kind of what i figured out with this character as the film progressed and although although you don't see much of him in the film you do see him in the film enough to kind of get an idea of how he likes to approach certain things uh, which then uh, you go back to how he made this revelation about himself. It made sense, and I didn't hate the film for that, but I just didn't like the way they approached it. But then again, if you, given that the film is, a, is a, on a very limited budget and they only had so much time to shoot the film here, there are some things they're gonna have to t uh, they're gonna have to cut corners in certain areas. And this is one of the things where it, it they did cut those corners, but it made sense for the sake of the story, and I didn't it didn't take away anything from me. In fact, there's a lot. There's really not much. There's not a lot of negatives for me on this film that I can think of outside of that one specific moment in the movie. But as the film progresses, it made sense because I had time to think about. Well, yeah, maybe this guy's like that, and he's a scientist, and he likes to just, you know, this is how things are, and 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 you have to accept the facts as they are. And maybe that's how this guy likes to approach things. And um, maybe with the with the television series we like to we get to expand more on that so that way as as we see that progress in the film and you look i mean the series we look back at the uh, the film and you're like oh well now it makes more sense in a full on a full scale here because we've had that time to interact with this character uh through the series if it if it ever comes to that point um but again 
I don't think this film will be for everyone because this definitely isn't your t- your typical superhero film, which is what you said. You think it is a superhero film. I definitely would understand why you say that, but I guess because for me, superhero films are more about the spectacle of how you see these characters come out and interact with the world and have this global scale of events that are uh, that are there that they're coming into to try to prevent from happening and this particular case is much more intimate and then the global the global scale side of it here was hinted as far as are there other ones like them around the world and maybe and, the and not to mention it, it, it also expanded kind of like this alternate maybe timeline future timeline po- almost post-apocalyptic because in a sense it's, it's been like a, a drought over the past years well just in that region and, I, don't and, think, and, I don't and, think they mentioned about having that all over the world I just had to remember that but I remember that was in the region that they yeah, that, were in that was like the main thing like it was like the you know hasn't rained in so many times there's like a drought in the area yeah uh, I, I took it as like a worldwide drought <laughs> it could possibly be uh, it could uh, I'm not so, saying that isn't you know, and remember. that plays into the story a lot too um where like when you, that's why I kind of saw the superhero so it's a huge global so to speak let's just say uh, right. uh, situation uh, where that's affecting everyone and it's cause for you know uh, concern and, and and the way these these characters are interacting in the world that by the midway or near the climax of the film that she's somewhat the answer to that to question that, to that question yeah. of what if and what can be done. Um, so coming to terms with her powers and what happens, and then now looking into or what's next, are there others like us? Which, again, with the time frame that they have, they could not tell that whole story, but man, yeah. am I excited to see what they're going to do with this new yeah. the Amazon I feature you they have to touch upon. I think you're right, too. But, um, I mean, overall, like I said, I think the story was uh, being told. Um, yeah. I wouldn't go as far as saying I love the film because I did like it a lot, but... Maybe if, upon second viewing, guys, I think this is one of those films that require multiple viewings, so that way you can kind of get a, a, a much more deeper sense of what's going on here. Because uh, um, this kind of reminds me of like a um, like of Unbreakable, which is a much uh, in comparison that it's uh, it's it's a very character driven film, um, minus the uh, the twist ending, of course. But it's a it's a very character driven film, and the more you watch it, the more you start noticing little things here and there throughout the film. And you and I and I learned to appreciate that film more upon repeat viewing here. This was one of the films I think you might have to get that uh, you have to have that repeat viewing. Um, but thankfully, the story is very intriguing. And having seen the film, I know uh, I know that I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, and like I said, definitely it's a slow burner. So there are some parts that do feel a bit slow, but. But as the story progresses, it makes sense because you had that time to develop with these characters and develop the scenes to be able to move, keep the narrative moving forward there. Yeah. Um, but again, I don't want to repeat. I don't want to repeat myself in that regard because that's pretty <laughs> much the established the, how I view the film now. So with the repeat viewing, with, which I will uh, view the film later on, I think I might find something different this time around with the second viewing that I did the first time around here because now I've already understand the full scope of the story. What else have I missed out there that probably were very important details that I um, that may help fill in the gaps that I was that I probably missed the first time around? So that's oh, how I and, and the, the themes are just so wonderfully put out there. You have the you know the themes of like you know family history, family yeah. trauma, trauma itself, um, and how uh, she overcame that said trauma. Uh, on course, kind of of course being represented by these powers and, and yeah. these seizures and stuff. But man, it was it was really well done, really yeah. well done, fantastic film. Go see it. That, that's yeah. that's what I have to say. It's it's it is a slow burn. If you could get past it, because the beginning does start with a very tension filled opening sequence, <laughs> kind of like all right. So what's going on? Like yeah. kind of situation. Because you're yeah. kind of like trying to put the figure it out, and that's what I love about the opening sequence of this film. Like you're trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. And it, as the movie keeps going, it's giving feeding you little clues, little clues, little clues until at the end of the film, it kind of pieces everything together, leaving it open for for even more. Uh, another experience down the road yeah well let's hope it comes to fruition here because uh from from the sounds of it, it looks like they have a lot of high hopes from from what you see in this film and from what uh, a lot of reviews were in this film which were pretty much generally positive if I, if I remember reading correctly but um but look that those are our thoughts in the film because we're actually curious to hear what you guys think because uh, this, again this is going to be a film that i think is may appeal to people for its good storytelling but will it appeal to people as a, as a general story um you know, for the general masses out there, because I don't mm-hmm. think this is going to be one of those films that will do that. But 
again, films it should like be. this, it, it should, should be. be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Films Definitely like this should, should be. be told because there is a. If you if you take away from from all the spectacle that you normally see in superhero films, and you keep it much more grounded. The real world is not a very exciting place at times, but when you have events like this happening, there are there are questions that you may ask yourself. You know, if I had these powers and people are after me, or if I had these powers and I expose myself, what could be the consequences of that? And and that's definitely touched upon here in this film. So you know, in that in that regard, I think the film does a good job in telling it from that perspective there, because at the same time. Um, not only are you seeing a wonderful story being told, but you're also connecting with these characters who are very interesting in themselves as well, too. So, mm -hmm. you know, this type of story, I think, is worth viewing, and it's definitely worth talking about here. But again, if you have seen the film, what did you think? Did you find the film boring? And if you did find it boring, tell us why. If you mm -hmm. actually liked the film, tell us why you liked it as well, too, or if you even loved it. Um, and would you even go as far as, rec as considering this here to be a superhero film um, as as a result of what you've seen? Because I kind of definitely understand that. Uh, I do definitely understand that, that point of view of being considered a superhero film. But I don't. I didn't look at it as a superhero film. I, definitely, I just looked at it as a, char a bunch of characters in a real world who have extraordinary abilities here. And therefore, it's a character-driven film, not a superhero film, at least in my eyes. But I wouldn't argue the fact that it is a superhero film um, because I can see that argument being valid here. Because I know David here made that point with me a while ago, and I thought, nah, you know, it's a, it's a tough cookie for me to, to really uh, to, to, to break down here. But I'll, I'll say this here. I don't disagree with you, but that's how I choose to view it because it's a much more character-driven film than it is a superhero spectacle because the spectacle that does come out from this film is not like a big uh, firework type of an event. It's nothing like that. It's more but emotional. It's an emotional, emotional yeah. tale. Yeah. Uh, I, and I agree with you, Rob. Uh, it's a it's an excellent film. It deserves viewing. It may deserve a second viewing uh, if you want to really unpack a lot more. Yeah. Uh, and look out where these were uh, uh, for these writers and the directors. They did a fantastic job. Yeah. And not yeah. to mention the rest of the cast as well. Look with other works because I can't wait to see. I know I say this about a lot of stuff. But because once I start seeing a certain actor in a specific work, I want to see more of their work. Exactly. And that's kind of how I feel about the rest of this cast. Yeah. Uh, um, but besides that, yeah, let us know what you think. Did you like the visuals? Did you like the story? You, is there more about the story? Is there anything that you unpacked from the story that we didn't touch upon here? Let us know. Hit, you know, let us know in the comments uh, below. And if you like this review and you want to see more of our reviews, where else can they see us, Rob? Well, you can follow us here on YouTube, of course, and make sure you hit that subscribe button there and hit that notification button, too, because we've got more videos coming down the pipeline here. And also make sure to follow NRW here on social media here. We have a Facebook page, Simply New Release Wednesdays, and on Instagram, New Release Wednesdays as well, and also on Twitter at the NRW. And you can follow myself here on social media. Follow me on Facebook at Simply Rob the Movie Guy, and on Twitter, Rob Medina0585, and on Instagram, Rob underscore Medina0585. And you can follow my buddy from another audio over there, Good Sir. What they, where can they follow you here? Uh, they can follow me at my Twitter or my Instagram at David is Disaster, or you can follow me on my Facebook page at my full name, David A. Estacado, where I drop memes, wrestling, and other stuff, pop culture. And if you like what we have here, make sure, like Rob said, hit that subscribe button because we also do video games, movies, comic book reviews, food reviews in the future. And if you like this, don't forget to watch the other ones and check out the annotations here if our buddy puts it up up here for any other videos that we have. And besides right. that, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, just be on the lookout for anything else we have out there. All right. Well, until next time, everybody, stay safe out there and uh, cheers. Cheers. cheers.